Hello and welcome to uh, my presentation on um, shared memory between TAs in Opti. Um, my name is uh, Jens Wicklander. I'm working in security working group at Linaro. So I'm going to go through uh, what I mean by shared memory and uh, shared memory without pager and uh, what it means uh, when using the pager and uh, also finally how we rendezvous and can find the uh, objects that ought to be shared. So what is shared memory between TAs? Uh, a trusted application <coughs> has its own uh, context in secure world. It means uh, its own uh, VM space. Um, and uh, Wikipedia has a quite nice uh, definition of shared memory. It's <coughs> memory that may be simultaneously accessed by multiple programs with an intent to provide communication among them or avoid redundant copies. Um, in Opti, we uh, use both properties, but it's mainly saving memory that is uh, our interest. As you can see, uh, the mapped uh, shared memory can use different uh, virtual addresses if you compare TA1 with TA2. <coughs> so without the pager, it's uh, just physical memory, which is uh, the shared memory, and we map it in uh, the virtual memory space of each TA. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to end up at the same uh, virtual address. Uh, it depends on well, what's mapped before and so on. Uh, by the way, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to interrupt. Uh, we have a Mac up there at your room. So, paged memory. Uh, page memory has uh, a backing store which holds the uh, yeah, the, the data, and then we have um, physical pages which we map on demand and populate with the data as needed. And for the trusted application, uh, the um, illusion is that the entire memory is mapped since it doesn't really see when it's uh, interrupted in order to map a new page. <coughs> When we come to page shared memory, we still have a backing store, and it's still remapped on demand. Uh, and uh, it's only mapped uh, in each TA as needed. So it means that if we have two TAs, as in this case, uh, not all the physical pages which are representing a backing store may necessarily be mapped. In this case, we have uh, physical Page B, for instance, that's mapped at uh, index zero in, uh, in both TAs, but uh, the other pages are uh, only mapped in one TA at the same time. So it means that page B uses true real-time uh, shared memory, while the other ones, yeah, you will notice if it gets mapped. For instance, we take page D, which represents uh, page index three. That would be mapped in TA2 if uh, page index, index uh, three was uh, referenced. <coughs> so it means that um, each physical, physical page can, uh, or when a physical page is, is used to represent a part of a backing store, it has to be used at all the different places in, in TAs in order to represent that particular location, or we would, uh, wouldn't have a coherent view. And um, the shared memory itself is, is achieved by uh, keeping this illusion of uh, the backing store having it uh, mapped at, at all time needed. So uh, we have some uh, data structures in, in order to keep track of all this. Uh, the blue uh, blobs, that's uh, 
context-specific. I mean, it, it's used only in, in a single TA in order to uh, represent the uh, virtual memory. So we have the head of the different areas, and each area represents a virtual memory range, which uh, uses a F object. And uh, the F object is uh, the backing store that we saw in the previous page. Um, the areas are either represents a complete F object or a part of an F object. It can't represent several F objects. Uh, and then the PMMs are physical pages, and those are in a big common pool shared by everything which is paged in, in Opti. And they, uh, uh, as a PMM is allocated and used, it's updated to uh, reference which uh, FOB it's currently using or representing. We also have a different way of uh, looking at the data structures, and uh, that's when we need to unmap a physical memory from a, a context. <coughs> so in that case, it means that we need to look up each context where the uh, physical page is mapped in order to invalidate TLB, etc. And uh, as we can see here, areas are present in two different linked lists. In the previous slide, it was to represent the context, so it's indexed by the context. And uh, in this slide, it's by f -ob instead in order to find which area is uh, using which f -ob when we are uh, trying to look up which context to uh, invalidate. So if we look here, uh, area two, uh, zero and two belongs to uh, one DM context, and uh, the uh, orange area one belongs to a different one. Um, if we look at the PMM zero, it's using F of zero, and it means that it could be um, present in both uh, area zero and one, and not necessarily because maybe it wasn't referenced, but uh, that's a possibility. So when um, unmapping PMM0, we would have to check in, in both area 0 and area 1 in, if it was mapped or not. Uh, yeah. So how, who, who, uh, how are these uh, pages then shared? When a, TA is uh, loaded for the first time. We uh, register the uh, read-only uh, uh, sections or set of pages uh, with the file new. And uh, uh, there's a tag which uh, is a hash of the entire file which the TA was loaded from, which is unique, so it means that uh, if uh, you're interested in this file, you will have to use this tag in order to find, uh, find out if uh, there's any uh, uh, FOBs uh, uh, registered. So we have this uh, file slice, which is basically an FOB, and then an index into the uh, TA file. So page offset is uh, yeah, the page index of, of the file. <clears throat> uh, Read-write sections uh, occurs also when we uh, load a TA, but since those are modified for uh, relocation or uh, read-write data, it means that we can't share them since uh, it has to be private per TA. And it also it doesn't make sense to keep them in memory because it will consume some memory, and if we don't load another TA, it's, it's wasted. Uh, and also, we don't support copy and write so yet, so uh, there's no need to keep the initial read-write pages. <coughs> so
So when the second TA is loaded, uh, it, uh, or well, whenever a TA lo is loaded, it, it tries to find out if any part of uh, this TA might be uh, available as a shared, uh, as shared memory. So you first do a file find slice with uh, the tag as argument, and if you get a valid pointer, you know that uh, there's at least some parts which, which are uh, already available as, as shared memory. Um, and then uh, <coughs> for each section of the TA, which uh, you need to map, you can uh, you use file find slice in order to uh, find out if uh, that part happens to be uh, a shared memory uh, part. There will be uh, some gaps which uh, will have to be allocated uh, again, but uh, that's uh, the uh, read-write parts of the TA. <coughs> and then we have uh, life cycle management. Uh, as you imagine, when uh, this f objects are created, it's quite hard to keep track of when they are not used any longer. You can't really tell it by other ways than uh, reference counting. So for instance, when an f object is mapped somewhere, the reference counter is, in, is increased, and when it's unmapped, it's decreased. That guarantees that uh, it will not be freed earlier than uh, it may, and uh, also that we don't keep them along longer than necessary. Uh, so when the reference count reaches zero, it, it will be freed. Uh, and the same principle uh, applies for this uh, struct file. So it means that when the last TA using this file is, uh, is destroyed, uh, the counter of the file will reach zero and uh, it will dereference all the f orbits also, and they will also be freed. So uh, we don't keep things around longer than necessary. Um, yes, and uh, yeah, this is uh, work that is currently reviewed on GitHub. It's not really upstream yet, but it will happen quite soon, I guess. Any questions? I gather that what you're describing here is something very much like a paging system that one would see implemented in an MMU, but it is laid atop that. It's not, this is not the MMU that you're describing. You're describing a paging system, in essence, a paging system that is separate and atop the MMU paging system. Is that true? Uh, sorry, I didn't get the first part. Um, okay, so you're describing something that looks very much like a paging system, yep. uh, virtual to physical addressing scheme, which you know you would typically have, uh, you know, translation look aside buffers and so forth, um, reflecting a page table and so forth. I see what looked like um, something somewhat reminiscent of a page table. Um, there. I gather what you're describing here is not the page table of the MMU. This is a, something laid atop that, I assume. Is that, is that correct? That's, that's correct. I have simplified it a bit here because managing the page tables, that's also uh, quite complicated since we need to allocate new on, on demand and, and, and so on. And for just the shared memory thing, it's not so different from what we already have. But uh, yeah, of course, there's page tables that we update also. OK, thank you. That's actually the reason why uh, how, how this, uh, the size of the area is, is decided. It cannot cross uh, page table boundaries since we take care of one page table at a time. Um, I have 
two questions. The first one is that the notion of file you're referring to in this presentation is like real file or is just like a virtual? It, because I, as I understand from my experience from Opti, you have an option to support shared memory. So it's not, it's not that, right? So it, it's not really a file, but okay. it's, it, it represents a, a TA. Uh, ELF file, and uh, well, TA we use everywhere in source code and ELF at many places, but we don't use file, so I just wanted to try to keep the name short. So you're sharing part of the ELF structure within the TA between two TAs, right? Yes, and actually it's the mostly the uh, binary part of the ELF, I mean, not the headers and stuff, we try to keep that out. So okay. it's just the data. The second question regarding the non-MMU uh, SOCs, this will be the same implementation, so you don't really have, I mean, you have the paging, but it's flat memory, so. If we don't have an MMU, that's, we will not page. Yeah. Uh, and also, I mean, this shared memory can also work without a pager. Uh, in that case, we don't have to keep track of uh, all the individual, individual pages, but we still have this F, F object, which instead of just having a backing store, it's instead representing physical memory, okay. which is mapped. So, yeah. <coughs> so um, these, this uh, quasi paging system that you that you're describing here, um, ultimately maps information from a file into memory uh, visible to one or more trusted applications. Yes. Um, what is, can you give some examples of the sorts of things that would be in that file and those, in the, the backing store file, what, what sorts of things would you use this system to view within a trusted application? So this is mainly to uh, map both the main executable and uh, dynamic libraries which can be shared. We don't have uh, generic data files which we intend to map, I think. But it can also be used to share, uh, well, it's not part of this patch set yet, but uh, I have a few other patches where I experiment with the sharing read-write memory also when two TAs are uh, communicating with each other. And in that way, it would be compared to anonymous memory in, in Linux. Uh, it wouldn't really have a uh, a real file that initializes the area, it's just uh, zero initialized memory that we would share. Uh, so it's basically ELF files that we intend to share here. So then executables. Uh, These are executables. Are executables, the, yes. <coughs> So if you are sh sharing data, right? It's not just sharing, it's also writing to this shared memory. Sorry? So it, this ELF structure that is being shared, it's being written to write, saved into the blob of the TA, so it's not ch changing the signature of the, the CRC, you know, the checking that you do when you uh, load uh, the TA. How we verify the ELF when we load it, you mean, or no? What? Uh, what, what is the question? So, I mean, you're, you're doing this um, editing of the ELF, right? Yes. Through this uh, interface, so now you're changing the binary structure of the TA, right? Yes, so we don't write back into the ELF now. Oh, okay. Uh, and when the ELF file is uh, 
loaded into memory or the data. We um, uh, we use uh, read-write uh, paging normally since well, we need to copy the, mem the data into memory, and uh, that's uh, based on AS uh, GCM Galois counter mode. Mm -hmm. And but when we have finalized the loading, we set it to read only for the read only parts and, and keep the read write part as read write. So whenever a read write page is updated and has to be paged out, we need to encrypt it again and update the, the tag and uh, uh, IV. Okay. So, yeah, thank you very much for attending.